438 right now. We're going to talk about the Publi Sack. It shows up at your door every week, no matter where you are uh, in the Montreal area, in most of Quebec. It lets you know where you can get good prices on things. If you're looking for specials, it tells you about those. Uh, and the people who uh, operate the Publisac, it's a company called Transcontinental, they say that 87% of people read what's in the flyers in the Publisac, but it's wrapped in a plastic bag. This year, free plastic bags no longer allowed in Montreal stores. It's also a lot of paper, so people are starting to ask some questions about the Publisac. Jean-Francois Parenteau was a member of the City of Montreal's Executive Committee. He says that they will begin consulting the public about the Publisac in January. The goal of the City of Montreal is to reduce all we put in the dump and also in the recycling because they have a cost at the end. That is Jean-Francois Parenteau. He's a member of the City of Montreal's Executive Committee. The committee is reacting to a campaign that wants to see the Publisac's plastic bag Band Charmant Petit is behind the campaign. He's a resident of Rosemont here in Montreal, and he's here with me in studio. Nice to have you here. Nice to meet you. Hi, and I apologize in advance for my uh, voice because it's been a crazy week, and I'm beginning to uh, wonder if I'll make it through. Well, we appreciate you being here. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get the city of Montreal to change three lines in their current regulations about the delivery of flyers throughout Montreal. There are two things that we want done with this three-line change. The first one is to have Publisac or any other flyer distribution service switch to a subscriber service, so what you'd call an opt-in service, because right now they're uh, using an opt-out service, and that means that the bags are distributed to everybody, not just in Montreal, but in Quebec. That's 3.5 million bags every year. Uh, sorry, uh, every week. There's a lot of bags. And it's even uh, worse during the holidays because a lot of um, um, stores that advertise with those flyers have decided that they want their own bag on the side. So each week, one of them gets a transparent bag just for themselves. So the total in Quebec rises to 7 million per week. Okay. Like it's so, but you mentioned the opt-in, opt-out. Right now, people can opt-out. So why don't you just have a campaign to get everybody in Quebec to opt-out of the Publisac? Because we've been doing that for 40 years, and it's not really working. And it's also placing the blame on the consumer, saying that, hey, we're going to dump... Uh, I'm sorry uh, if the word is too strong, but we're going to dump some unsolicited garbage on your porch and it's up to you to recycle it or not. Nobody would accept that if it was, say, uh, organic matter and they were asked to compost it and it's their fault if they don't. We don't like the opt-out campaign. It hasn't been working for a long time, and it only solves the problem one person at a time when they put a little sticker on their mailbox. It's too late for such a policy of uh, what they call small steps, ecologically, ecologically speaking. Uh, we've been warned by international authorities that we only have two years left to implement major changes. Okay, so I understand you want to change things to opt in. You also want to get rid entirely of the plastic bag. That's the second amendment that we would like the city of Montreal to adopt on top of the subscription service. It's let's not deliver those flyers in plastic bags anymore because... It's not just the bags themselves. I don't care if they're compostable or not. It's just that they cannot be recycled if they still contain paper. And most people who don't want the flyers don't bother to uh, pull the bag apart from the paper contents. They just throw the whole thing in their recycling bins. And this puts a very heavy onus on the recycling centers in Montreal who then have to do it themselves. And they're already overworked. Even 
there's been a lot of news stories that says that Montreal cannot sell its recycled paper overseas anymore because there's too much plastic mixed in with it. So let's not ask people to do the sorting for the company. Let's cut the problem at the source. Let's use a wrapper that does not need to be sorted away from the contents. What would that be? I mean, presumably the company is putting it in plastic to protect the flyers from the elements. So how could they do that? First of all, I disagree with that policy because if you've seen a sack in the rain on somebody's porch, it's still soaked. So the bag does not help. Also, the rules in Montreal specifically say that the flyers have to be put in the mailbox or hung onto an appropriate hook. And... When you just throw the bag on people's porches, well, first of all, you might miss if uh, the natural mailbox has a no-flyer sticker on it. But also, uh, what you're doing is uh, basically you're um, not obeying the law. And if a bag is left for a long time in front of somebody's doors, it acts as a flag that the person is not there. So it opens the way to uh, robberies and stuff like that. But, and, but the, the company behind the police act, Transcontinental, they say, what was the number that we had here? 87% of people look at the police act. I don't know how they got to that number a uh, year ago or so. They were saying that according to their own survey, and I don't know how that survey was phrased, 61% of, of the people were pleased with the contents. That still leaves a lot of people who are not, and let's stop giving them uh, public sex against their will. Let's just focus on those who actually do want the bags, and I'm not trying to get them to uh, be deprived of it. I want just the right people to get it if they are interested in it. But you don't think that if we change it from an opt-out system to an opt-in system, a subscription, you don't think 87% of people are going to stay subscribed to it? Well, my point is, if that number is th is true when they quote it, then they won't mind switching to a subscription service because they won't have to print it anymore for people who don't like it. It will improve their cost and it will focus their clientele. And when I say I throughout all, throughout all this, it's not just me. I've gotten the support of 13 major ecological associations, not just in Quebec, but throughout Canada, like Greenpeace, Equiterre, uh, um, the Council of Canadians, uh, um, even the uh, Aboriginal group uh, Raven, who is currently involved in trying to stop the uh, Trans Mountain Pipeline. We all agree that a lot of measures have to be taken to take bold steps in order to correct the situation because right now Canada is not going to be able to, be, to meet it, its goals of the Paris Agreement and we have to not... Uh, ask people to uh, take small steps, we have to take at least one bold step in this specific matter. One last question for you. The city already says they are going to consult the public on the public act, so why do you have to be campaigning now around it? They've been mouthing, I'm sorry, but platitudes about this issue for m more than a year. I've been at it for quite a long time. And I've only recently found when I actually went up to the mayor of my borough and asked him at the question period of the council meeting, the, obviously when the city warns the company that they shouldn't do this, which they have done uh, at least four times just this year, without any success, um, the, the warnings are not working. They are, there are uh, fines that are already in the Montreal regulations, when is the city going to apply them? And there's no small fines. There are $2,000 fines for companies who are repeat offenders. And uh, I actually spotted 5,000 infractions in my neighborhood alone in over uh, 24 days. So I'm saying um, maybe it's time that we get the company's attention and their cooperation with another way than just kindly asking them, would you please refrain from polluting? Well, I thank you for coming in today. It's good to speak with you. Thank you. That's Charles Montpetit, and he is organizing a campaign to change the way that the Publisac is distributed, also wants to see the plastic bag gone.